As director of golf course operations for the city of Corpus Christi, Texas, Clark Waters is responsible for the conditions of two municipal courses. Faced with original native soil greens with only surface drainage and an effluent irrigation supply from the city, Clark began looking into seashore paspalum as an option to improve course conditions. The greens were Bermuda grass and they were in pretty poor condition due to some uh, drainage issues and the affluent water issues. And we tried everything to adjust the soil, just adjust all the, everything that we could adjust over the course of about eight months. I think in 2001, a distributor mentioned a seeded variety of paspalum. They were actually selling the seed. And at that moment, we bought a, a bucket just to uh, experiment with. And then visiting a couple other courses in this area that had the older varieties and that people, they'd sodded in some places over the last, you know, the last decade. That grass stood out so much that uh, that pretty much helped me draw my conclusion that sea spray would be the right choice. Because sea spray is available as a seeded variety instead of sprigs, it became a quick, easy, and cost-effective renovation option for the championship course. The seeding, it seemed like it was something we could just do in-house, and this was a quick decision. We decided uh, at a meeting one afternoon when things just didn't seem like they were gonna turn out that uh, I had called Estes, they said we could have the seed to you, to me within a, you know, a few days. And so we set up our schedule to start on that following Monday. We went out and sprayed Primo at about 20 ounces an acre. Uh, and then we did some heavy verticutting cutting and seeded at four pounds a thousand and continued to play. We were fortunate to get three or four days of light showers and that on top of the irrigation, we were able, we saw some germination within about four days. And the greens were at more or less a quarter of an inch. And we were at 7.30 seconds shortly after germination within, you know, once the grass was established, or took off at about two weeks. And then back to 5.30 seconds, uh, about six weeks later, and stayed at, you know, at 125 from that point on. Eight weeks after planting, we were back to pretty much our better conditions than we were before we planted because the past palomar began to, to fill in all the weaker areas. The renovation was a success for both the golfers and the maintenance staff, so much so that the golfers asked for the same thing at Oso Beach, the second municipal course. The golfers asked us if we could do the same thing at our other course that we did at this one. We were having some issues there that the greens were about 70 years old. There was a lot of encroachment, a lot of different type of grasses had, I guess, had mutated and found their way into the, to the greens. And so there we were able to do an aggressive verticutting, dethatching, scalping, whatever you want to call that. And we seeded in. Most of the golfers are thrilled by the conditions. And again, we're not doing anything really aggressive. We're, uh, we're lightly grooming, you know, weekly, uh, no severe bird cutting and just light top dressing uh, whenever we fit it into our schedule. The sea spray is allowing us to provide, you know, outstanding putting conditions without a whole lot of extra effort. Sea spray demonstrates great promise for the future of warm season turf with fewer input needs and strong recuperative ability. The fact that it's so strong and has such an incredible root mass, if we cut back on the water, especially you know, everybody's always worried about isolating some irrigation leak. Well, just turn the system off. If we wanted to cut back on our mowing, we, we're always kind of trying to keep everybody happy. But if we wanted to trim back for any reason, budgetary or environmental reasons, the sea spray would allow us to do that. I think most courses in the, you know, in this, in this region or these regions of the world, that uh, sea spray definitely needs to be considered. I don't know that I'd want to go to any other, back to any other grass other than this sea spray just because it is environmentally sustainable.